Well, uh, can't get. Oop, hello, that's the bottom right there. Three inches right there. Um, I figured you guys would enjoy seeing the forest almost flooded. Boy, forgot where the channel is out here. I haven't been up here since the spring. So, off in the distance there, um, I'm not sure if that's a bridge or not. Anyway, where we're supposed to be is over here to the right. But unfortunately, it's not quite deep enough to get up through there. So I'm going to see if maybe there's another spot up here to get through. If I'd been out here a couple days ago, I could have gone right up through these trees. And I have, in the past, paddled through every bit of this, right through the center of the trees, not even in the channel. Water was foot, foot and a half deeper out here. And you could just go right through the middle of everything. Just so pretty out here. Michelle, I hope you get to watch this. And I'll tag you in this one especially because this is the area you haven't been able to get up into. And it is very, very well worth getting up here. If you can get your foot to cooperate long enough to come up here. It's where we're headed, the fourth bridge is off to our right. But I've got to find a spot to get through might be able to get through back in here. I remember coming through here once. I don't know, it's just just at the worst time too, darn it. If I'd been up here one day sooner. Of course this big 17 foot kayak was not easy to maneuver. But as shallow as it is, push time to shove, I can just get out and drag it through. And we're in my, my knee boots. So yeah, imagine the water a foot or two higher. I don't know if you can see the grass either side just under the water, but it is really shallow. I mean, like maybe the length of my paddle blade. And it was actually half that just a second ago. I remember coming through here, but again, there was a little bit more water than this. So, we'll see if it'll make it. I'm showing off my new uh, bracket. Uh, camera bracket. Phone mount, darn it. I'm preoccupied. All you can see is the pump up there, my emergency pump on the, road, on the deck up there. It doesn't look like it, but there's actually quite a bit of water underneath of me. Ooh, that was a hawk. Come on, let go. Bushwhacking in a sea kayak. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's uh. There we go. There we go. A log underneath of me. I wouldn't do this with a fiberglass kayak. These are too easy to crack. They're very rigid, they're very strong. But they're very brittle too compared to this uh, high impact plastic. Okay, there it is. Well, let's see if I can get through the last of this. The water's so shallow, I'm actually. The, the boat is touching the bottom. I don't know if I can get through here or not. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, I can't now. It just deepened up a little bit. Uh, 
Well, I don't know. We got one major obstacle left, and we might be through. Yay! Oh, ho, ho. Dragon bottom. What's weird is when you drag the bottom like this, especially in this boat, uh, for some reason it creates a heck of a pressure wave ahead of it. You can actually feel the boat's stall kind of stagger in the water as that pressure wave hits the bottom. And it kind of creates a, a barrier in front of the boat, it slows the boat way, way down. Right, I'm going to stop this video and start another one here real quick. So, see the last two bridges. We'll squirt through the last two of them.